So one of the things that you know, those of us who are huge fans of data-driven cultures love to tell these stories and champion them, but we've also seen the pitfalls that can arise when you become too data-driven. And so just for, for example, if you're in a search engine, pretty much every change you make is going to go to an A-B test. That is, you might get 1% of users who are going to be exposed to the new algorithm or the new font or the new color or the new layout, and that's going to be compared to a control group. And because that, that data is so strong and so powerful and so clear and so black and white, it's really easy to pay a lot of attention to that. But then when you do something new or different or something that might have a long-term effect, it's not necessarily going to show up even in the right direction in a short-term test. But long-term tests are much more expensive. Um, for th if, you're, if you're doing an advertiser experiment, it might take, be disruptive for advertisers. It might change their prices or, or their, their click volume and so on. So you don't do those long-term experiments all the time. And you have to rely on some intuition and judgment to know when is it worthwhile to really put, put, put a change to greater scrutiny. And because you don't always do it, you can sometimes see an organization push towards those things which create short-term results, but might even be bad in the long term. Just as an example, when, when Bing launched its rebrand, the initial response of the users in the short-term test was that they hated it. They, they, they missed their 10 blue links. They didn't understand this new, more complex interface. Search engines weren't supposed to have richer content and, and more options to navigate the, the search. So, but it, it took weeks for the results to come back where the users, after a while, really liked it better. So I can see that as we go forward and firms become more and more data-driven, I think you also expect to see firms sometimes just drive off a cliff, like sort of, you know, little by little, and then one day they wake up, you know, the, face, the ads in the Facebook feed, they looked fine, the users didn't mind them, they didn't mind them, they didn't mind them, and then, you know, one day they wake up and they've, they've gone somewhere else. And that's something that's a real challenge to balance.